I'm Kristen Beverly. I'm an occupational therapist at Accenture Human Services. All right, and this message is... window. Clear. No. Cord words. Dara. Dara. This is Dara. Clear. Okay. Dara, can you tell me about your Clear. service project? Cord words. My needs. No. Stories. My story. Message window. About today. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you about my day. Alright, what would you like to tell me about your day? Service project. I worked on my service project. Yeah, and Message what is your window. service project? Core words. Okay. Service project. My project. I am creating encouraging bookmarks to give to people. Yes, you are. That's awesome. Core yeah. words. Is there anything else you want to tell me about? Crap. I made a craft. Yeah? That's awesome. <laughs> Clear. So Dara is using a switch that is connected to this device by Bluetooth. And then back here we have oh, did I can get out. <laughs> Where did it fall there? Uh, her Bluetooth speaker that's tucked back here. Um, that is giving her the auditory feedback that the male voice is what she is listening for, and then the female voice is what she decides to say. Um, and so that's how she communicates with us. So as she uh, presses down, when she hears her what she wants to say, she will press the button. Um, we Right now we're only using the one switch. Um, we're slowly working towards possibly using the two, it's up to her. Um, but it's as she doesn't want to. Um, but she uses the one switch that as she chooses, um, it goes back to the beginning and it just slowly cycles through again so that she hears um, the options again. But um, we've tailored it to fit what she would like to talk about. So that's what you heard as far as her um, service project. So she came into nice story. her stories and told us about her day. So we've tailored it to fit her, her needs and what she wants to talk about. Um, yeah. We also designed this table for her based on what her uh, physical needs are so that she can access the switch um, more easily. So it was put a little bit lower so that her hand can still just hang down, but when she hears what she wants, she can press down. And this is timed appropriately so it gives her enough time to make her decision. The reason that we chose this this kind of access method with, with the switch and the auditory feedback is because um, it's just it fits her because visually um, we can't do eye tracking because um, just the not a lot of control over where her eyes are going. Um, same thing with the head tracking that she likes to keep her head to the left, so that ruled that out as well. So this this became the best option. Crushed it. Awesome. <laughs>